for them. Deputy Speaker, long-term residents in Windsor are increasingly horrified at the lack of care being shown at the archaeological dig in historic Thompson Square. This is meant to be a process to identify and preserve history before this square is devastated by a modern concrete bridge, thanks to the New South Wales Liberals. But in fact, what's happening on the ground is that the caterpillar treads of the giant mechanical excavators are crushing the remains of goodness knows what artefacts. Let's get the picture. In 1811, Governor Lachlan Macquarie ordered all structures in Thompson Square be cleared, opening the space for civic use. Any structures, foundations, brickwork, paving that is now being found is therefore likely to predate 1811. So the material being discovered is likely to be from the very earliest years of settlement at Windsor, 1795 to 1811, or earlier Aboriginal relics. 30 years ago, archaeologist Edward Higginbotham noted that any archaeological excavation of the square would provide a totally unique opportunity to identify the location of a number of known buildings whose locations had been lost, including the first government granary that was vital to the colony being spared starvation. This could stop. This square could be emergency listed today by the minister, and all he has to do is pick up the phone to New South Wales and say, stop. <laughs> 